Fight, fight. Here's the World Light Heavyweight Champion limbering up. Bob has been called by many the hardest puncher in the 69-year history of the light heavyweight division. It's customary, if not fashionable, not to wager on who will win when Foster fights, but rather on which round his opponent is going to be knocked out in. Foster has become quite a unique champion because his punching power has become legendary thing that's dished out and then bombs you out of there. No one, not even Bob Foster, can be called a punching favorite over smoking Joe Frazier, the heavyweight champion of the world, seen in the past decade. Foster has had 45 fights of which he... 1964 Olympic Games heavyweight title and then turned professional the following year. Fraser has had 25 fights, winning them all, 22 by knockout. A spectacular record. Joe defended that title against Manuel Ramos. Sharp, jolting punches by Joe Fraser. Sharp, stinging punches by Bob Foster. And Joe Fraser comes bombing right back. The end of Foster in blue. Booking Joe Fraser's all business in there. And Foster is hit with a paralyzing left hook. Fraser goes to a neutral corner as the referee picks up the count. Bob is hurt. Foster courageously gets to his feet. Champion Joe Fraser moves in to finish it. Paralyzing punches by champion Joe Fraser. A dynamite left hook and Bob Foster goes down again. The referee picks up the count. Bob a crushing left hook, and down goes Bob Foster for the first knockdown. Fraser walks to the neutral court. Joe knows his man is very hurt. A dynamite left to the jaw, and Foster goes down for the second time. Once again.